Hello everyone, my name is SOFPS and welcome to part 4 of episode 4 around the corner of The Walking Dead. Hope you guys are enjoying this, I know I am. This is an epic game. We must be getting slowly towards the end of episode 4, the second last episode in this 5 part game series. Now guys, we are looking for Clementine. There will be a link in an annotation to take you to the previous episode if you did miss it guys. Otherwise, go back to episode 1 where it all began and you can watch this from the very beginning. Okay Clem, where, where, where are you? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Oh, Clem's got a drawing in here. Clem's drawings, but where is she? You hiding, Clem? Clem? You in here? Nope. Oh, hang on, let's check this other cabinet. We may as well check everything, not come back here Clementine? again. If this room isn't where Clem's hiding, use the sofa. Why? I'll have time to rest later. That's what I was thinking too, Lee. Clementine, you here? You're supposed to knock before you enter a bathroom. Okay. Bedroom door. Let's do it. Hello? What Molly? are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Alright, Molly. Alright then, settle down, love. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Okay, yes, fair enough, Lee. I'll stop looking at boxes. Okay. Downstairs, eh? There is another door up here, though. Or is that just to the bedroom? Yep. <laughs> okay, back out we go. She wouldn't be outside. Don't see her out there. I hope not. You get in trouble, Clem. Clem? Clementine? Okay, we might as well check this bedroom. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Oh, that's where that's where old Omid's getting worked on. Clementine! Come out! Please! I reckon, damn! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. Kenny, what the hell do you think pissed. you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Good on you, Ben. 
Do you keep on my good book, son? Clementine, where are you? Okay. In the kitchen, maybe? Nope, the fridge is empty. Okay, I'm not going outside, not at the moment. Doesn't look like she's in here. God damn it, Clem, where are you? Oh, there's some more doors here. Let's check them out. Doesn't look like she's in here. Nope. No dice. Doesn't look like she's in here. Okay, Ben, where is she? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. Oh, damn. Come here, Clem. I'm coming. Clementine? Clementine! The doghouse. That's my first thought. No, she's not hiding in there. Okay, let's go in the shed, maybe. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Holy damn. Someone's knocking. Let's open it up. Clem! Is it a boat? A boat. It's a boat. Oh my god, we have a vehicle. Holy shit. Swear. Sorry, Clem. Uh, he's happy now, old Kenny. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well, yeah, Molly, she's... She's a hard Will? bitch. You want the good news or the bad news? We'll go the good I news think first. We could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. 
Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. We'll we negotiate. negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in? Or out. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is gonna die, I promise. You can't promise that. She's growing up, old Clem. I cannot promise well, I that. I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Well, she's making this hard, Clem. Can I come with you? I'm sorry, Clem, but I don't want to have to worry about you. No. I'm sorry.
She's good for getting into those little tight spots that no one else can through doggy doors and stuff, but no, Clem. They don't take children in Crawford. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... What'd you bring her for? Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. Well, what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here. I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Good on you, Clem. Let's get you inside. I hope you're here when I get back. I've become attached to Clementine. She's like my little surrogate child. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have a pistol. I'm down to a hatchet. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Let's do it. One, two, three, huh! Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Oh, be careful there, Lee. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. I've got a feeling that this dude's like a zombie. What the fuck? It is! It's a walker! Oh, to the face! Crawford has been infected. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside! Fast! Damn! Fuck! Fuck! Do 
you think they saw us? Definitely. Shit. <laughs> My hands are freaking out. I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Hell. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I should have got rid of Ben a long time ago. All he's been is a pain in the I ass. I have a bad feeling about this. X marks the spot. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Armory. Damn. Got some weapons? Come on. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So oh, then, she's got a secret. The Sato shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. And that will have to be in the next episode, guys. Well, the next part, part five. That will be in a link in an annotation once it is uploaded right about now, guys, to take you straight there. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed part four of uh, episode four around the corner of The Walking Dead. I'm really enjoying this. Hope you guys are. 
like and favorite the video to show me that and show me your love as well. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and want to see all the latest action on The Walking Dead and much more in relation to zombies as well, guys. Follow my Facebook and Twitter for all the latest updates and info on my channel. I will see you in part five. Peace.